Tony, you've had some phenomenal nights through your career. I think you've always said that Goodison Park, nothing will the beat greatest, it. The greatest, nothing will ever touch that. No but matter. is this no, I the greatest challenge for you ever? No, no. Walking into Goodison Park, no one can understand the pressure. I can't put it into words. Nobody can understand the pressure I felt walking into Goodison Park. The only fight me little boys attended. They can never understand the pressure. I lose that fight, I, I would never have shown me face again. Uh, this one, it's funny, because before the first David Hay fight, everybody said to me, we fear for Tony Bellew's health. So I must be getting better, because this time, they're only telling me I'm only gonna get a lesson. So at least I'm not gonna, actually, my health isn't gonna be affected. This time, I'm only gonna get a boxing lesson. So. I'm either getting better or the opponents are getting worse. Well, the truth is, the opponents are getting better. And also, a little bit of truth is, I'm getting better. And I just, I know I'm going to find a way. As good as he is, as great as he is, and he is a superstar. I told him on Saturday, good afternoon, superstar. He is, he knows he is as well, you know. The only thing he doesn't have is the looks, but... <laughs> I'm rooting for him. You know, it's a good story, but let's just... Go ahead and talk about it. He's fighting one of the greatest amateur boxers of all time. Um, already one of the greatest uh, cruiserweights of all time. Um, say what you want, but he is undisputed. <sighs> November the 10th, 2018 is going to be um, Alexander Usyk, the WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, Ring Magazine, Cruiserweight champion against Tony Bellew. The press conference was um, earlier today. Where is this fight taking place? <laughs> he is a superstar. Really oh, Manchester. It's going to be here in the States on this platform right here at the bottom of the zone. And over in the UK, over on um, Sky Sports uh, Box Office pay-per-view. You guys got a lot of uh, um, uh, pay-per-views coming your way. So... We did get a chance today to attend the press conference. Thanks to my, thanks to my homie, um, Chris Ridgeway. Well, Alexander. Press conference number one is done, and it's a big fight against Tony Bellew. Press conference number one is over, and it's a huge fight against Tony Bellew. Yes, it's a huge fight against Tony Bellew. Yes, absolutely. This is a massive fight against Tony Bellew. Is it the toughest fight of your career so far? Uh, say it again. Is it the toughest fight? It's the most difficult fight in your career. There was no such thing, how can I say it? It hasn't taken place yet. I cannot say whether it's the toughest or not. Ask me after the fight. I've heard a lot of people mention already the stadium atmosphere, the atmosphere in Britain. What did you learn about the British atmosphere? I've heard a lot of people ask you about the atmosphere in the 80 seasons stadium. What did you bring to yourself and what did you bring to this atmosphere? What did you bring to yourself? Как фаната мне очень понравилось находиться на, на такой большой арене, когда люди поддерживают. Была не совсем хорошая погода, но все люди до конца преданно болели за своего. Было вообще великолепно. I did enjoy this atmosphere, though the weather was not uh, not the best uh, weather for for the open open air event, but uh, the atmosphere and I enjoyed myself being a fan, just a regular fan, watching this fight live in the ringside. And uh, the thing that uh, that happened, those songs, those crazy fans, lovely crazy fans. Uh, I felt uh, like I'm a part of this of this huge crowd. How has your career changed since winning the Super Series? Как как поменялась твоя карьера после того, как ты выиграл Super Series и трофей Мухаммеда Али? Я стал обладателем всех поясов, обладателем кубка Мухаммеда Али. I collected all the belts. I, I gave, uh, grabbed the Muhammad Ali trophy. Я очень доволен этим. And I'm very pleased. <laughs> One final question. I know a lot of people have asked you about moving up and what comes next. But just focusing on this fight, can we get a prediction? Понятное дело, тебя много спрашивают насчет, что заглядывают за спину Тони Белли. Но тем не менее, есть у тебя какие-то предсказания насчет того, что будет дальше, что в твоем будущем? Хочешь рассмешить Господа Бога, расскажи ему о своих планах. Oh, come on. Uh, if you, if you want to make Lord love, tell him about your plans. Shout out to uh, Chris Ridgeway. Um, 
over in the UK. And uh, shout out to uh, the sportsman, even though he's not with them anymore. But, you know, he's provided us with some some great content here, you know, um, that I'm going to be uploading to the channel. So um, we're going to be covering that fight. As you can see, we're back here full time. Um, been a very busy, you know, few weeks on the channel, you know, meeting the quota 30 videos a week. Like we said, we was going to be doing. But anyway, getting back to the fight, let's go look at the uh, cruiserweight division, you know, and talk about it a little bit where we at over here. He has all the belts. And after this fight, it's likely it's likely that he's going to move up. Ooh, Alexander Usyk. If Tony Bellew wins, then I expect him to retire. You know, it's like this, right? You can say boxers say they're going to retire all the time. But in this case of what he's accomplished, before we talk about the David, we have to talk about it. But in the case of what he's accomplished for whatever reasons, remember when it goes back to uh, the Makabu fight, people were like he was going to get knocked out and he won by knockout. People were like BJ Flores of all people were going to beat him and he won by knockout. We're going to get to David. Hey, I understand, you know, the injuries and everything, but still two wins over David. Hey. He was in. The, he was even the. Uh, 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 what was he name? Uh, Pretty Ricky Conlon, the villain of Creed. He could return for Creed three. I didn't like the Creed movie though. I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't like the Creed movie. But nonetheless, you know, for him, the point I'm trying to make is if he was to retire. After this fight, I say he should stay retired because win or loss, he's already accomplished enough. I mean, yeah, you know, it's it's like if he was to stay around and retire and I mean, if he was to stay around and not retire and Usyk beats him, moves up and wait, all those belts are going to become vacated. You have a World Boxing Super Series 2 tournament come, um, going on again with the top cruiserweights. So that includes... Miras Bridis, Marat Gassiev, uh, Andrew uh, Tabidi, um, uh, you're near, uh, 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 Dortikos is in there. These are some hard hitters right here. You know, if he was to stay around, this is the competition he's going to have to fight. And let's be honest, we all love Tony Bellew. We all love him. But David Hay body broke down on him i know you don't want to talk about it but we got we got to it hurts my heart i feel like blood tears are going to pour down my eyes that sounds like it would be very painful but come on you know you got lawrence O'Kali coming up i know you're probably saying you know bill you will probably spark him probably i don't know i don't want to touch it i don't want to touch it pause that's what she said and how he does things with his hands. It's his feet out of the key. His position of his feet. The same guy who's sitting on the front row here. It's the feet that make them great. It's how they can move and switch angles and differentiate the, the weight at certain times in fights. And that's what confuses fighters. It will not confuse me. I won't be shocked by his speed. I won't be shocked by his foot movement. No matter what he says, he will be shocked by me. He will be shocked when I hit him for the first time. He'll be shocked by, I'm the quickest cruiserweight he'll ever face. And although they'll say more, Gassier punches harder than Tony Bell. Boxing and punching is all about timing. And it's about taking the right opportunities at the right time. And I'm going to be the first professional fighter he's faced who will do that. As Eddie said, it's a compelling the fight of the year. Could it be the last time for people to see Tony Bellew in a ring, win, lose or draw? Mate, if I don't stop after this, she's going to divorce me and I've only been married nearly four or five months. So I don't fancy getting divorced. It's not part of the plan. So she'll probably be watching this somewhere, babe. I promise you this is maybe the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you know, 
he does have a point. He's saying that, um, um, you know, people saying he was going to get knocked out in previous fight. Now he's just going to get schooled. Like, you know, I like when fighters are very, very realistic about, you know, their options and chances of going in there fighting a fighter. You know, he keeping it 100. For example, we've learned that Adrian Broner um, over here in the States, despite what you may think about him, he's become really, really honest about like where his career is at and what type of fighter he is. <laughs> um, let's go to the uh, face off. Damn, they're not going to zoom in. There we go. Show those belts. the um ticket information and everything down below in the description box and also um on my website fightview360.com pay attention we got um some uh uh apparel uh coming soon you know and of course as we said we're going to be covering uh mixed martial arts in detail very very soon a lot of things going on so once again shout out to uh chris over in the uk who's going to be covering the fight um in the manchester arena um, November the 10th, who got interviewed with uh, Dave Caldwell, um, Alexander Usyk, uh, Anthony Corolla. Lomachenko was there, but he said Lomachenko wasn't taking interviews. I can understand, you know, um, uh, pretty much why. Like his uh, their manager, um, Igas Klimas, is real strict. I've learned when it comes to stuff like that, you know, but nonetheless, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.